And what is so important, of course, is this microscope with these four needles. I have the expert here who will talk about it, but which basically sends an electric jolt into the cars and gets them moving. But for more on this, I really should be stop talking. I should be speaking directly to Mark Meyer of Sienta Omicron, which is a German company which makes these microscopes. How many are there around the world? All those specific ones, it's just a few, about eight, which are worldwide uh, in operation for, for, uh, for instruments that have just one tip. It's much, much more, obviously. Uh, apart, from for the, apart from just for the nano race, what are yeah. they used for? Um, you know, people investigate surfaces, molecules. Uh, they try to create uh, circuits on the molecular or atomic scale. In general, I think physicists want to build up um, devices uh, by single atoms. I think we see some of the microscopes here, yeah? Yeah. Tell me, what, what do we see here? Actually, you see from outside a so-called ultra-high vacuum chamber that creates the environment. You see now the needles uh, that then touch uh, the surface and move the molecules. And what you see there as well is that first, it is in quite large distance, so the molecule will not be moving. And now, just a second, it will come closer the interaction will be stronger and then the molecule moves. But going back to what we were saying earlier, I mean, apart from this race, mm -hmm. who needs this microscope? It's typically universities, research centers, and some big companies that still do real research, like IBM and others. So it's uh, fundamental research in general the microscope is, uh, is used for. Who would use it? I mean, does the industry need it, or is it just for research? Or um, these type of microscopes are predominantly used in, in research and not yet in, in industry. And um, they cost a fortune, I guess. I mean, how, how can they take something which is 30,000 times smaller than, say, a strand of my hair yeah. and make it visible to, to us? Uh, it's actually um, uh, uh, quite a technology challenge uh, to get such a precision into a microscope. It's all about to get control over this tiny tip uh, that you need to very precisely move at the surface. And that uh, involves electronics that need to be very, very precise, but also mechanical stability. I think one key um, is you see always this uh, stainless steel um, uh, around is the environment. It's no air inside. It's really like outer space uh, conditions you need uh, uh, to do those type of experiments. Are there examples now where this type of microscope has worked with other industries and it's now being used, industries now using stuff as a result of what this microscope has discovered? You would say that a lot of things that are used in industry have been invest investigated and found many, many years back with such instrumentation. But it would not be the case that uh, industry uses it, uses it to, to produce something. Right? It's, it's a real research microscope at the absolute limit of, of resolution. Scientists are using it. Go on, tell me, how much do one of these cost? Uh, above a million, for sure. <laughs> Half a million euros? Above so one you, million. Above one, one million. million, for sure. So you wouldn't want to break it? Uh, it normally doesn't break. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, uh, usually those uh, systems live forever. So tell me. Um, What's the difference between a microscope and a telescope in the end? Because they're kind of doing the same thing, they're zooming in on something which is very, very difficult to see. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, if you think in terms of microscopes and uh, mention telescope, this is an optical thing, right? And the telescope, obviously, you, you look at far distance uh, to the outer space, to, to stars, right? Mm -hmm. And a microscope looks at the small um, um, stuff. And, uh, but this type of microscope is totally different in its you know, concept. Uh, it's a so-called uh, scanning probe microscope. So you scan this small needle across the surface, and that's totally different to an optical microscope, obviously. Well, Mark, Mark Meyer from Center Omicron, who's built one of the maybe eight microscopes like this around the world. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Now, I know there's a lot of people on social media who want to talk to you. Yeah. So we're going to send you next door to, to the hub and the community manager will talk to you and you'll give us some replies to some questions from people on the media, social media. Okay? Okay. Many thanks.